Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Thanks for joining me today. I have another Halloween card, as promised. It's from the Happy Haunting set from My Favorite Things. And I'm going to start by working on the background. I'm preparing a sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock with some anti-static powder. I'm going to use the emboss resist technique. I'm stamping out the little stars with some Versamark ink. I'm stamping them kind of far apart because I can't see where I've stamped until I put the embossing powder on. So to save time, I'm just kind of stamping around the card and then I'll put on the embossing powder and then I can see where I need more stars and I'll stamp out some more. Once I have all of my stars stamped out, I'm going to heat emboss them with some white Hero Arts embossing powder. I allow my heat tool to heat up for a good minute before I bring it to the paper. This helps prevent warping. When this powder melts, they kind of turn invisible again. Once I blend on my distress inks and they pop out, it's kind of fun. I never get tired of doing this technique. I'm using some Candied Apple Distress Ink and I'm just blending that around the edges because the middle part is going to be covered up with another panel. I think this is one of my favorite Distress Ink colors. It's so bright and cheery, I just love it. While that panel dries, I'm going to be working on my images. I'm stamping out the little superhero image with some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. This is a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm also stamping out a mask and I cut that out and I'm just going to place this over the little figure. I want to stamp out some clouds but I want them to appear behind him. I'm placing them where I want them to be and then I can just close the door of my mini Misty and pick those stamps up. I'm placing the larger cloud down lower so that it looks like it's closer to you and then the smaller cloud up higher so it looks like it's more off in the distance. Now I can ink up these little images and then pull off my mask and then I'm ready to do some Copic coloring. I tried to put the caps of the Copic markers to the side so you can see what I'm using. I will also have them listed on my blog. When I'm watching card crafting videos, I do appreciate it when they put the lids to the side so that I can see what they're using. And then if I particularly like the colors that's being used, I put a little dot on my Copic marker chart so that I know the ones that I'd like to purchase next. I apologize for my voice being kind of thick this week. I picked up a cold from my son. Everyone in my house is now sick, unfortunately. Miserable week, but we are on the mend now. So this is a card that could be used all year round. I'm planning on using this as actually a birthday card for one of my son's friends. I decided to use some bright primary colors for his outfit. I'll put on some music now while I color in the rest of this cute little image.
I'm going to use a 0.3 Copic pen to draw in some movement lines of him flying up. Very easy to do. I'm cutting out a piece of black cardstock. Lately, I like putting black cardstock as a mat behind my main panel. I think it just adds to it, makes it pop a little bit more. Before I adhere my panels together, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment and it says, you are super. I'm using some Kokuyo dot liner. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I do really love this new adhesive I'm using. It's really strong, and yet if you need to peel something up, you can kind of gently pull it apart. Here's my completed card. I absolutely love how it turned out. Please like, subscribe, and share this video on your favorite social media. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful week and stay healthy. God bless. See you in the next video. Bye.